Oh, hello. This is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. Uh, over the years, I have a lot of problem with dull knives in the kitchen. Uh, if you have the same problem, then this is a video for you. And I don't know how many times in the past uh, I have problem uh, to slice through a tomato or cut through a piece of chicken uh, with a knife that is so dull that I could even cut myself with. I don't know how many times that I swore that I'm going to get a better knife, but that seemed to never quite happen. In fact, a dull knife has a strong negative impact on my desire for cooking. Because quite often I got so frustrated with prepping, uh, I said to myself, maybe I should just forget it completely. Uh, over the years, I have tried many different kinds of knife. I remember one time I was on a trip, and I went into a expensive knife shop. Uh, the salesperson convinced me to buy a two hundred dollar knife, uh, which was supposed to be the best knife that money would buy. Uh, without any question, the knife was very sharp, and the salesperson did an excellent job in demonstrate how well it can cut. Uh, as most people will experience, the good feeling of traveling often extends to I would call it unwise purchases. So I brought home this expensive knife. Unfortunately, after using this knife for about a month,、uh, the knife lost its edge, and it became very dull, as dull as all my other stainless steel knives.、Uh, so I took this knife to a knife shop and asked them what they can do、uh, in helping me to sharpen this knife, and they did an excellent job, and they bring the knife back to its sharp edge.、Uh, so I asked the owner,、uh, "What could I do?" Uh, to keep this knife always sharp at home, so first he sold me an eighty-dollar electric knife sharpener. He told me that when my knife has lost its edge,、uh, I should start out with this electric sharpener.、Uh, and then he asked me to buy a twenty-dollar handheld knife sharpener. He said that I should use handheld knife sharpener each time after I use the knife. And when I combined these two methods,、uh, I was able to keep my knife mostly sharp、uh, almost all the time. However, I do find the process tedious because I have to remember each time to sharpen the knife after my cooking session. And when I forget to go through these steps, my knife dulls very quickly. And of course, the ideal situation is for me to have knives that stay sharp all the time, so that I don't have to think about them. I would like my knife to be sharp each time when I pick them up. I would like to focus my attention on my prepping rather than to think about how to sharpen my knives. And it really turned out that our knife、uh, do not have to be very sharp. Just sharp enough to cut through. Uh, the food ingredients、uh, during our prepping, and my friend Jason,、uh, who used to be a sous chef chef、uh, before he returned to graduate school, he told me that the best rule of thumb、uh, to determine whether a knife is sharp enough or not is to take a piece of paper.、Uh, if your knife can't、uh, uh, slice through the paper, then your knife is plenty sharp.、Uh, so therefore, the ideal situation is to have a knife. They will stay sharp as long as possible before you need to sharpen them. And from my experience, ideally, if I have a knife that I can use on a regular basis that can stay this sharp for a year, that will be wonderful. But unfortunately, you will not be able to find a steel knife to have this capacity. All steel knives dulls quickly.、Uh, the cheapest the one that you purchase, the faster is that they are going to get dull.、Uh, for example, this steel knife I pay ten dollars for it, and it usually dull、uh, within、uh, ten minutes of、uh, say cutting chickens.、Uh, so about fifteen years ago, I have an aha moment、uh, when my friend showed me、uh, his ceramic knife.、Uh, he told me that his ceramic knife. Can stay sharp for years without sharpening. In the beginning, it was very hard for me to believe his claim, because a ceramic knife looks flimsy, and、uh, sometimes people think they make out of plastic. So, 15 years ago, I decided, 
I was going to give it a try. So I purchased my first ceramic knife, and he was right. I like it so much that I use it almost every day, and I find that I don't need to sharp them at all, and they stay sharp for nearly four years after I finally replace with a new one. A ceramic knife stays sharp for a long time、uh, without the need of sharpening. For example, over this four-year period, I probably cut through about 300 pounds of chicken. I cut them into thin slices, and there is really a lot of cutting.、Uh, if I had used a steel knife,、uh, the knife would have been dulled after I cut through about five pounds of chicken.、Uh, so, from cutting chicken standpoint. A ceramic knife lasts 40 times longer、uh, than a stainless steel knife, and the best thing is that you don't have to sharpen them at all.、Uh, the longevity of ceramic knife、uh, is based on a chemical compound known as、uh, zirconium dioxide,、uh, which is one of the hardest chemical known. A diamond is the known hardest、uh, material in nature. If we rate diamond to be a hundred, then zirconium dioxide is around eighty-five, and it is significantly harder than even the best stainless steel knife. And this is the reason why ceramic knife lasts so long, because of its hardness. Very few things can wear it down, and because of this reason, it is difficult to sharpen ceramic knife. In fact, the only way. To sharpen ceramic knife is to use sharpening stones that are encrusted with diamond bit. For home kitchen, the ceramic knife provides a perfect cutting solution, because each time when you pull out a ceramic knife from your kitchen drawer, you can count on it to be sharp. However, a ceramic knife might not cover all. Cutting situations, particularly if you want to cut through some chicken bones or cartilages. Even though a ceramic knife is sharp but it's brittle,、uh, when it comes to this situation, it is likely for the ceramic knife to crack. And in this case,、uh, a steel knife is more suitable for the job. And now I have two knives in my kitchen drawer:、uh, one ceramic knife and one stainless steel knife. Uh, both of them are vegetable knives.、Uh, they come with wider blades,、uh, which is perfect for scooping any ingredients that I have cut up. And now, for everyday cutting, I use my ceramic knife 95% of the time. I would turn to my stainless steel knife when I have to cut up something that is hard.、And、with these two knives, I have solved my kitchen knife problem. Uh, I can always count on a knife that I pull out from the kitchen drawer that will allow me to、uh, cut through a piece of chicken or slice through a tomatoes.、Uh, in this video, I review a ceramic vegetable knife that I use for my everyday cutting.、Uh, it is inexpensive, and for fifteen dollars,、uh, I will be able to use this knife for about、uh, three to four years、uh, before I need to replace it with a new one. And for the stainless steel vegetable knife,、uh, I choose one that is relatively inexpensive, but one like this will last me for a lifetime.、Uh, with these two knives, you will have the peace of mind that knowing that you can handle any cutting situations、uh, in your home cooking. I post a video each day、uh, to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routines、uh, using my fast cooking system,、uh, which is、uh, flavor chasing. Advanced prepping, stir frying, and template-based cooking. So keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.